You drive a car, but you feel like flying an airplane. That's how NEO talks about their new NEO ET9 electric car, set to hit the market next year. Along with a powerful 707 horsepower engine and a 120 kilowatt hour battery, it has special suspension, and the Chinese marketers are making a big deal about it. Just take a look at the pyramid of champagne glasses on the hood. Pretty cool, isn't it? They even showed the car shaking off snow like a dog and doing a little dance during a vibration test, almost like tap dancing with its wheels. While there's not a ton of info on this special suspension, we do know the manufacturers added four independent hydraulic pumps, one for each wheel, along with active valve modules that respond to rod movement in just 5 milliseconds. One day, Matt Beenan showed up at a plant to get a pallet of cargo. When he opened the truck's back, he found a messy pile. After cleaning up, he loaded the pallet. Looking at the truck's sides, he thought, what a waste of space. This idea led him to start Built Right Industries. Now they produce storage panels based on the Moller system. They're doing well, with sets for vehicles like the Ford Ranger selling for $625. The panels, made of 3.2mm thick steel, can be mounted both on the bedsides and also inside the truck. LG made the world's biggest car display, with a diagonal length of 145cm. In many cars, it'll span from one end to the other. This screen was showcased at the CES 2024 show, and the South Korean company claimed that a new era has begun. It's quite something to be pioneers. LG also presented other displays, like a flexible 81cm model that unfolds and turns into something between a tablet and a laptop. LG's creations can even be fitted into armrests and doors. Considering LG started mass-producing OLED displays last year, which consume 40% less energy, this shift to a new era seems quite believable. A Pro TV camera easily goes for over $30,000. This explains why this mounting system costs over a grand. Meet Hydra, a creation from the international company Tilter. It can handle up to 100 kilograms and is remotely controlled. Thanks to its shock absorbers and a damping rack, it ensures a smooth picture. The improved suction cups perform well in cold weather, and even if you flip the camera, it stays put. That's how smartly designed the system is. Luckily, Hydra doesn't feed on ancient Greeks, but runs on its own battery, which lasts a solid eight hours. For those dealing with non-heated and non-ventilated car seats, Sanctum is the solution. This American-made system fits most cars and costs $375 per seat. The manufacturer suggests checking the seat material and filling first. These units require both perforation and high-flow mesh foam to function properly. It operates based on the Peltier effect, where two materials exchange heat through an electric current. If you're unsure about Sanctum suiting your car, you can send a seat photo to the manufacturer for advice. Two American teams are making strides towards success in a straightforward way. Instead of fancy innovations, they're selling mini steps. Take, for instance, this folding model with 41 cm wide steps from Rock Slide Engineering, priced at $550. You can set it up in a couple of hours and gather many likes on social media. 
Smitty Builds Automotive is keeping up with their own invention. Their product costs only $80. They won many hearts, not just for its easy installation without drilling, but also for having built-in bottle openers. Why bother with charging stations when you can count on the sun? Install the EV Solar Kits panels on your electric car and add more than 19 kilometers of range every day. Installing them takes just 20 minutes and you don't need special skills. Just follow the video tutorial. In the next few years, American manufacturers plan to create panels for all major electric car brands. They're also tweaking the design for on-the-go charging. Power figures aren't exact yet, but there's a YouTube promo for a kit with a 6kW inverter and 2kW panels. This upgrade won't void the warranty, since there's no need to mess with the battery management system. The Ford F-150 and other pickup trucks aren't exactly built like semi-trucks. Even though fifth wheels are designed for them and the electric F-150 Lightning can pull a 4.5-ton trailer, the driver of a pickup truck with a trailer faces more challenges from vibrations, rough roads and bumps compared to a truck driver. The folks at Shocker Hitches know this. That's why they offer hitches with added pneumatics. They effectively minimize vibrations, enhance smoothness, and reduce swaying, making driving with a trailer safer. Buyers can conveniently choose different mounting options and safety margins online using a user-friendly configurator. The basic fifth wheel version is rated at 5.4 tons, but there are more powerful ones at 13.6 tons. These can be purchased for around $500 to $800. We featured all sorts of Jeep upgrades in our videos, but Jeep owners seem to have cash to spare, so many among them might want to buy this roof rack. Priced at $1,536, it lets you carry all kinds of things on the roof, even a snowmobile. The rack handles up to 136 kilograms of dynamic load and up to 363 kilograms of static load. Plus, when installed, you can choose how it extends. If you're curious, these roof racks are made by LOD Off-Road in the USA. Canada gets a few hundred centimeters of snow each year, and 2024 has been no different. A storm hit the eastern part, doubling the height of February snowdrifts. An emergency was declared, schools closed, and the roads faced many problems as usual. Not much to be happy about. But it's good to see local businesses tackling the challenges head-on. Snowed-in roads? No worries. Let's swap out the wheels for these tracks. They're called Nord Track and don't require any major modifications. You can install them in about an hour. The makers say that these tracks will fit nearly any four-wheel drive car, and even a Bobcat loader will do. Sure, they're a bit pricey. A set for a Ford Bronco cost around $12,600, but they are effective. You can go where the roads don't reach. The folks at Trihomey in China have a clever way of selling folding beds. This is not your usual sleeping pad, but a solution for campers who catch their Zs in the car. Just fold down the front seat and you've got a homey bed. With a height of 32 centimeters, there's enough room to stretch your legs up to the windshield. In its basic version, the cot is 165 centimeters long and 56 centimeters wide so you could probably fit two in the cabin. The fabric is breathable and water-resistant. This bed will set you back about $36. 
In 2022, the General Motors team unveiled the third generation of the Chevy Colorado. And it turns out, American experts made quite a few changes to the car. Take the tailgate, for example. Now it's got a fancy name, Stoveflex, and a compartment that's 114 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters deep. The details were well thought out. For example, the compartment is watertight, but it's equipped with a drain. GM engineers are dropping hints that you could load it with ice and turn it into a refrigerator. Plus, the Stoveflex lid locks, ensuring your cargo stays safe even when the driver steps away. If the Chinese bed didn't catch your eye, a US-based company has something more intriguing. The topper tent, something like a hardtop canopy. It allows you to make both open and closed beds cozier. Setting up the topper tent takes just a minute. It's simple with Velcro, hooks, straps, and buckles. The model for open beds, like those of the Toyota Tacoma and the Ford Ranger, costs $310. It's quite suitable for two people to stay overnight. What do Bulgaria, Australia and the UK have in common? Surprisingly, companies from these countries all build six-wheel Toyota Hilux trucks. This trend isn't just popular, but practical too. The British even crafted a fire version. Plus, the Hilux 6x6 comes at a more budget-friendly price compared to a similar Mercedes G-Class truck. Overdrive, the Bulgarian tuning team, jokingly dubbed its six-wheel Toyota as the AMG for the poor. In some versions, the Hilux 6x6 stretches over a meter and can carry about three tons of cargo. A tight, cramped parking space, a camping trailer, and a not-so-confident driver. A perfect setup for a couple of amusing YouTube videos. It seems the Australian team at Purple Line has seen enough and decided to save drivers' nerves and time with these units. They spin the wheels of the trailer and are remote-controlled. No more messing with the rearview mirror and going back and forth a hundred times. It sounds good, and it works even better. A set of two units is enough to maneuver a single-axle trailer weighing up to 2,250 kilograms. This kit costs $2,300. Almost anyone can afford a pack of nails from the local hardware store. Throw in some gloves and you've got a thief's kit. The girl in the video demonstrates how effective it can be. Just a couple of seconds and the glass is shattered, letting you grab any valuables. But if the car owner has installed smash and grab film, the thief stands no chance, even with a hammer. The glass just won't budge, not even with gunshots. In the end, the thief is likely to walk away empty-handed. It's a good idea, but it's a shame the manufacturing company's website is no longer working. Mm -hmm.